now. Hello, Glen Allen community. Welcome to 2020-2021 Fall Athletic Tryout Information. I'm your Director of Student Activities, Michael John Cristoforo. On the screen that you'll see is all the contact information that you'll need to get a hold of me. The biggest thing that I could tell you is make sure you get on the Twitter handle, look at our website for the team site that's found on the Glen Allen homepage, and then this YouTube channel is we're going to be creating hopefully for anything we need in the near future. So my goal today is to get you through all the information. Right now, the Glen Allen Athletic Programs are listed on your screen. Right, The season we're starting now to get prepared for is on February 4th when tryouts roll out. And those are the sports we will offer. Of course, as everyone knows, due to this pandemic, winter sports were canceled here at Henrico County Public Schools. Uh, spring season will be starting the 12th. All that news and good information will be coming here shortly after we get fall up and going and we uh, get through these protocols. We're grateful to have our Glen Allen High School administration team working behind the scenes along with me. Uh, our principal, Mr. Davenport, Associate Principal Matthew Bedke, Assistant Principal Stacy Davis, Assistant Principal Leah Wiedenhoff, and then of course the other Assistant Principal, Ms. Barbara Bonner. Uh, our eligibility crew is Ms. Abby Allen. She's awesome. She's in our guidance department. You have anything you need to know about clearinghouse, things about eligibility for college and getting prepared, please reach out to her. Then my right-hand man, academic advisor, Timothy Finn, he helps me get all the things that you're gonna need to know here in a few minutes pertaining to eligibility uh, checked with our athletes as we move through the seasons for all three seasons. And I greatly appreciate that assistance. As I said, here it is, your eligibility rules for the fall season. First off, if you're an eighth grader and you're listening to this, you need to make sure that your homeschool district is Glen Allen High School. Has nothing to do with specialty centers and where you're applying and going to, you must be in the home zone for Glen Allen High School. There's two parts of eligibility that is checked. You have what's called the VHSL ruling, which is a pass five, take five, meaning you need to pass at least five core classes and take five core classes within a nine weeks and of course a semester. You have online courses. Those online courses will only count towards the NCAA clearinghouse and you need to make sure you verify that. We as a school do not. There's very, very, very challenging parts of what they prove and they do not. The edge annuity courses, they will count towards your Henrico County eligibility, but they do not count towards the NCAA eligibility. When you fill out those papers, they will tell you right on your application will not count towards NCAA eligibility. So please make sure you understand that. The Henrico County ruling, you must have a 2.0 grade point average requirement. If you do not meet that requirement, you get what's called a one-time waiver that's available. That requires a meeting with the DSA, the coach and the athlete and the parent to discuss why they're in the academic struggles that they're in and why they need to use this waiver for the one time for their semester eligibility. Again, this is very important information to look at because here on January 29th is the ending of our semester. So you need to realize that all the grades will be checked at the beginning of the season for fall and for spring sports will be based on your semester one grades, which end again this week. So get that work in to your teachers. We're grateful to have our athletic training uh, staff with us, Aaron Miller. He does a great job. He'll be working with all of our athletes and have information once teams are formulated that he'll reach out to you pertaining to concussion injury protocol that has changed with COVID and things that expand beyond that. The first thing that we'll start with is your mandatory forms for tryouts. Um, you'll be able to click here, but they are all found under the one stop shop on the COVID on the athletic team site. So the biggest one is the concussion, the student activities contract, your VHSL physical. We cannot have middle school forms. So they all need to have your information charged and pushed over from the VH middle school physical forms to the VHSL. You need to have your guidelines for return to participation. You need to have your COVID-19 health screening acknowledgement form for students. Once again, all these, when you click on the information and the links that are shared, will be able to be found in the one-stop shop on our Glen Allen High School webpage that we have for our team site. We'll start first with competition cheerleading, February 4th. Your contact is Coach Nicole Smith. Her email is on this slide. There's your dates for it. It'll be held in the auxiliary gym. 
and the times and things will fall through it. The important piece is notice that the items that are needed. You need to have the physical, the COVID paperwork, as we just discussed, your water bottles that have to be disposable with your name labeled on it, the properly fitted medical masks, a black t-shirt and black shorts, and proper cheer shoes. Sideline tryouts will be February 15th. This is the one that the eighth graders will be eligible to try out for, because again, an eighth grader can only participate in JV or non-competitive varsity sports, which are your JV sports, because of the semester ruling by the VHSL. So the Olivia Martin is our coach that leads that up. Her email is there as well. That is the days and times from four to six in the comments of our school that we will be running the tryouts for competition sideline cheer and the items that you will be needing. Football begins February 4th and February 5th. You need to have the contact, which is Coach Perry Jones. His information is there if you're willing to look out. And then February 4th and 5th is when that will start, four to six in the football stadium. The biggest important thing that we need to realize is there is no net gators in Henrico County Public Schools. So you are not permitted to wear a net gator in any of these sports. So you must have a mask, 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 as Coach Jones puts, all right, on his slide. Field hockey starts February 15th. The two coaches is Jen Miller and Sharon Schmidt is the assistant coach. Both of them have their information there. Okay, they'll have the eighth and ninth and 10th graders on day one. Day two will be 11th and 12th grade for the first round. Then they will make their first round of cuts. Then day three and day four will be as it's outlined on here. Please make sure that you look over this information. Make sure you have a hockey stick, mouth guard, shin guards, cleats and turf shoes and sneakers, a water bottle, Goalies, you're in charge of your own equipment every day, a reversible penny for each individual player, field hockey gripped and padded gloves, a mask times two when needed, warm gear, black and white Under Armour long sleeve cold gear shirts and leggings for Under Armour for underneath their uniforms due to this wonderful weather for the modified fall schedule. Cross country, Coach Jen Stroney, <laughs> although I know this Jen Aniston for a long time and I always struggle with that name. She's wonderful. She's awesome along with her crew that will be out there. Uh, they will start February, February 15th and 19th is pretty much the tryout week and they will go from 3.30 to 5.15. Again, biggest thing, running gear, running shoes, be ready for the climates that we're going to be out there in with this cold weather coming across. Boys volleyball, Coach Kevin Hoy uh, and Andy Hoy. Tryouts will be the 15th through the 17th. The first day is going to be all grades at once, and they will go through three days of tryouts, and then final cuts will be made. Uh, completed physical and paperwork, make sure they have a water bottle of their own, knee pads, which are optional for boys volleyball, the mask, and court shoes. Please make sure you reduce the amount of outside contact that you have for court shoes. Girls volleyball. Christine Frank and Susan D'Amico take it up. Their emails are there. Susan runs the JV team predominantly. Christine stays with the varsity program, but they work hand in hand. Uh, trial dates are there, the 15th through the 17th, 6 to 8.30 in the Glen Allen Gym. Day one is going to be 12th, 11th, and 10th grade only. Day two is going to be 10th, 9th, and 8th graders. And then the first cuts will be made. And then the third day, all players will show back so they can figure out to make the adjustments. Golf contact is Ricky Birch. Coach Birch will be leaving at, at 2.30 for the Dominion Club on the 15th and 16th. Make sure you're out there and warmed up and ready to start for your nine hole course on 2.30 p.m. with the tee times. Make sure you have your completed physical and paperwork, the golf bag, your golf shoes, no metal spikes, and the golf balls to be able to use to play the game round of golf. The biggest thing that I wanna make sure we communicate is communication protocol. All coaches should have the list from everyone doing a great job on their athletic forms. They will have everything you will need to know to reach out to you. You should be getting an email here shortly that they have your information from that form, but make sure your communication stays athlete to coach. Then your second stage is athlete and parent to coach, and then the athlete parent to coach, and then bring in the DSA, which is me, of course, if needed. And if we need to take things further, then we will go ahead and involve on the last step, Mr. Davenport, our principal, to figure out what we need to do. If we respect all these, I think everything will be a success in the program. So in closure, thank you for your time. Thank you for everything you're doing in this COVID protocol. The athletic department asks for your patience and understanding during this time. We are all doing our best to make these seasons happen for our athletes and we'll strive for safety 
It is important for open communication in a timely manner and sports and integrity. Again, this is your DSA. I'm very excited for what we have to offer at Glen Allen, and we are going to be able to get things and make this season a huge success. Thank you very much, and good luck to all of our athletes as they try out for Glen Allen Fall Sports.